very good day to you and once again welcome we want to speak to you today about the purpose of the book which book angus this book the bible the word of god the word of life the bread of life what is the purpose of this book if we go to john chapter 20 there's two verses i want to read to you verse 30 and verse 31 and this is what it says and truly Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ the Son of God and that believing you may have life in his name that is the purpose of this book the purpose of this book is to confirm that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Folks, there are so many people preaching that all roads lead to heaven. They don't. If you look at 1 John chapter 5, verse 7 in the King James Version, or the New King James, which I'm reading out of, you'll see that the Bible, the Word, says there are three that give witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. So therefore, Jesus is the Word. So if your friend says, you show me this Jesus you're talking about, you give him a Bible. And I want to tell you, I've walked to the Lord now, not too far off, 40 years, and he has never failed me, and this word has never been found to be untrue. This is the bread of life. The Bible says clearly in John 8, 36, that the Son shall set you free, and you will be free indeed. Now the Son is the word. Sometimes people come to me and they say, Angus, can you pray for me? I want more faith. More faith to believe God for miracles. More faith to be able to pray for the sick. More faith to be able to walk the road, to um, bring up my family. And I always say, I won't pray that God will give you more faith. What I'll pray is that God will give you a hunger for the purpose of this book. Because when you read this book, your faith gets built up. And maybe you're watching this program and you're saying, but I'm reading a Bible and I do not understand the translation. Well, then get an easier translation. Maybe get a, a paraphrase translation to start with. But you must understand the word. And don't get caught up on certain issues you don't understand. Move on. If you're not reading your Bible systematically at the moment, I would encourage you to start doing so. And I would encourage you to start reading the book of Psalms from Psalm 1 through and at the same time, read the Gospel of John. It's a nice, easy reading book. And every day you read a portion of the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then I get a little notebook and you write down what God's told you that day. And read it in the first person. What does that mean, Angus? Well, let's take um, Psalm 23. The Lord is Angus' the shepherd. Angus shall not want. Personalize the word. And I tell you what, folks, it keeps me alive. It keeps me going. It gives me messages every time I speak to you. The purpose of the book is to set the captive free, heal the brokenhearted, to give us new life. I want to tell you a quick story. In Swaziland, many, many years ago, there was a king there, King Somsolo. Somsolo. He had a dream one night, and this is what he dreamt. He dreamt there were people coming from a far-off land, and they were coming in wagons. They had pointed noses and straight hair like the tail of a horse. <laughs> and the angel said to him, send your soldiers to go and intercept these people. Now they were coming up through the Orange Free State in covered wagons. So the soldiers went, as they were instructed, took them many, many days, weeks. They got there and these people, who were obviously missionaries, they offered them two things. In the one hand, they had beads, which was a currency in those days for trading. And then they had the Bible, the book. And the warriors said, we want the book. And they took the book back to Swaziland. And the book has been in Swaziland ever since. The purpose of the book is to give us life everlasting. God bless you. Goodbye.